What's up, guys, and welcome back to ATC Point of View. My name is Lex, and I'm a former military air traffic controller. In this video, we're going to react to a conversation between an uh, air traffic controller and uh, two pilots. The weather's pretty bad at the airport, and she told it how it was. Let's check it out. I'm Oxy 423. Uh, I'd like to start an engine. Mark the 423. Just hold off for now. Um, right now, all the cheaper departures are ground stop due to the weather. Okay. Um, all right. So far, we got an aircraft on the ramp calling air traffic control for engine start. An air traffic controller is telling him, hey, might want to hold off on that because the uh, SID or standard instrument departure route that you're departing on is ground stop right now. And it'd be pointless for him to start engines and uh, waste fuel. So let's continue. That's just the local weather, the stuff that's over the top of us now and up to the north, northwest. Okay, do we uh, anticipate that being very long? We were figuring before it was going to be about 40 minutes just because of how fast it was moving. It's moving at about 50 knots, but there's a lot of a lot of light up to the north of us that would be on your departure. Okay, thanks. Yep. Now we got a lot more information. Seems like uh, big storms moving across the airport, and uh, air traffic controllers doing a great job painting the picture for the pilot. And uh, letting them know how fast it's moving, where it's coming from, and uh, ETA on when uh, he can expect to uh, depart. So, uh, great job by her. Let's continue. And ground, I'll suggest uh, 317, question. I'll suggest 317, uh, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Still think it's going to be one of your third. Hard to tell. From what I'm looking on this radar, that stuff uh, to the north extends a little bit further west. So, I don't know when they'll be able to open any of that stuff up. Again, very good job by the air traffic controller. This is another pilot calling, asking for an update on the update that the other pilot got. And she's basically painting the picture again for him and um, let him know where the stuff is and uh, what to expect. A lot of the weather information that air traffic control provide the pilots with is typically a lot more accurate than the stuff that's online. And if a pilot's on the ramp, he's uh, most likely online on his tablet looking at the uh, weather. Uh, but ATC, their weather is way more accurate. Uh, pilots typically have uh, weather radar on their aircraft, but they'd have to be facing it for them to be able to see it because the sensors are at the nose. If you're a pilot and you know more about this, go ahead and put it in the comments and uh, share your thoughts on that. But uh, let's continue. Which way would you plan on filing if you tried to change it? Because uh, even the OLA is uh, ground stopped as well. The only people that could possibly get out would be the slides departure. And you're not really going that way. And this last clip, the air traffic controller just referred to two departures, the OLAC and the SLIDS. Those are known as SIDS, which stand for Standard Instrument Departure Route. So the purpose of a SID is to provide pilots with pre-assigned routes that will de-conflict with any other traffic. That way they can get out the airport at set altitude, pre-assigned routes, and get there safely. So let's take a look at uh, the two that she was talking about. So this is the Old Lake 2 departure for West Palm Beach International Airport. That's the uh, first one she was referring to. Uh, you can see the airport right here. So depending on which runway they depart from, uh, their fixes will uh, differ. So if you're departing off runway uh, 10 left, first fix will be this right here. And then uh, you make your way around till you get to uh, Old Lake over here. And if you part departing to the west, then your first fix will be over here. And then you follow the uh, route which is uh, pre-assigned, and you, as you can see here, it has uh, altitudes for each fix that the pilot uh, must uh, reach. So now let's take a look at the slits departure that she was talking about. As you can see here again, this is the airport, and uh, they'll be going out this way to the northeast. Uh, north is this way. Um, so the pilot was probably going maybe uh, southwest or uh, west or something. That's why she told him that, hey, you know, you're not really going that way because the slits take you to the uh, north, northeast. Uh, so it'd be kind of pointless for him. Uh, it'd be burning a lot of fuel and I'll waste a lot of time. Right, but if I could get out, just get up, I could go with <laughs> Possibly, but uh, if you want to fly through that stuff, I wouldn't want to. No, we're not going to. I just was trying to make a decision because we got engines running already, so we're just trying to decide if we need to shut down, just go to APU. You might want to. It's pretty gnarly out there. Um, I'll let you know, though, when uh, if you want. Yeah, if you give us about uh, five minutes heads up, we can get started back up. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. A lot of you may not know, but air traffic controllers have a manual that uh, tells you how to say things and how to respond to things. And in certain situations like this, 
you know, there's nothing in the book that tells you how to say it. So as you can see here, the uh, air traffic controller, she just told it how it was. Hey, it's, it looks pretty bad out there. It looks pretty gnarly to use her words. And, you know, sharing, you know, personally that she would not want to fly through that stuff. So again, that helps paint the picture for the pilot and uh, communicate how bad it really looks out there. So great job by her. And, uh, you know, the pilot looks like uh, he shut down and uh, they're just going to wait the storm out. Well, guys, if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Put in the comments what kind of videos you guys want me to do. Give me suggestions. As always, peace.